That's pretty good. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Ryan Reacts. Today, we're checking out another episode of My Little Ponies and that episode is Black Girls Gone Deep. Oops, whoop, that's the wrong folder. Episode 22, A Bird in the Hoof. Well, I don't know what the hell that means, but I can tell by this first picture, those birds are murderers. If they're not murderers and this freaking episode doesn't end with them beating the shit out of some chipmunks, I don't know how to feel. Well, am I not supposed to stereotype people I just meet? I can't do that. As a joke, it's funny because uh, of, of the extremity of the situation. Freaking nowadays not allowing me to make sweet jokes like that without explaining myself. Can't make fun of a freaking bird because it's purple. Darkish purple. Like a murderer! <laughs> of course, folks, you can check out this episode on Netflix. You can also purchase it on Amazon or you can watch it on the Family Discovery Channel. There you go, Mr. Mousy. Now you stay off that leg and do everything I told you, and it'll be just like new in no time at all. That is the cutest thing I have ever seen, until you realize that he broke his leg in gang violence. <laughs> Motherfucker stole my cheese! I too had put people's anuses to get their attention. You Mom, I'm hungry! <laughs> Brunch for Princess Celestia at Sugar Cube Corner. Of course, Celestia would have a brunch. Royalty, am I right? Eh, I want eggs, but I want lunch at the same time. Fuck you, Celestia. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That may have been a little too violent, but you know, sometimes you have family members who only eat brunch. And then they kick you a couple times when you try to get their piece of cheese. Let's watch the rest of the video. Do they know you are my very best friends? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The final line in the song is, you are my very best friends, right? And has a picture of all of them together. Why the hell is this Spike in that picture? You dirty bitch! What do I have to do to get to be one of the princess's royal guards, anyway? You have to be born with a brush on your head. I don't see no brush. Rainbow Dash. It's alright, sirs. She's on the list. It wouldn't be the same without you. Those guards are actually there to make sure that Pinkie Pie doesn't eat someone. They've been doing How's a great job. How's everybody doing? Good? Good. Yet they left that man's chin in there? Come on, that's a weapon of mass destruction. Everything is fine, Mr. and Mrs. Cake. Sorry I'm late. That's not what he feels deep down inside. <laughs> She's just sitting there going, you know? These foods are delicious. I want to know why there's no cheese here. Apparently, the story was a homeless man busted in at night, stole their cheese. Uh, we don't know the outcome of what happened to the cheese. It was all gone. Um, there was a lot of gunfire, uh, a lot of uh, rough noises. Not rough and stuff noises. That usually sounds like a jackhammer. Um, it's what helps him sleep. He just has a jackhammer on at all times. Oh, but, man, this is a great sound. <laughs> But, uh, we don't know what happened. But, there's a lot of cheese missing. But it probably has to do something with the cheese tax that's been going on around here. Huh. Oh, it's not that. I just want the princess to approve of my friends. But she's met us all before. And read about you in my letters. <laughs> but this is the first time she's spent any real time with you. I want every pony to make And she trusted you guys to be well, friends I'm to sure have a magic friend beam. About. Besides, it's just a casual get-together, right? Don't touch me! Watch the dress! Careful! You're gonna spill that on me! Oh, ooh, 
that looks delicious. What I'm is so it? I'm so glad you oh, made it, Randy. Randy. Pinkie Pie loves eating pie like a clown. Oh, shit. Oh, man, I don't know why that got me so bad. I think it was the old shock effect where I didn't see it coming. Also, I paused on a chocolate fountain. I've had it before. It is the equivalent of candy crack cocaine because you will not stop sticking all the fruits in there, especially if you enjoy fruit like me. You will not stop, and there will be no survivors. Chocolate fountain goodness. I mean, I judge her, but I did the exact same thing four times. <laughs> I'm almost certain I've heard that exact gasp a couple times already. Uh, oh, um, thank you. Not at all, your highness. Thank you. What are we in a Japanese restaurant? <laughs> I don't know if this is just me or just the Japanese restaurants I've been in, but every time I drink water, like I'm like, hmm, that's tasty. But <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, listen, I'm not gonna finish the. I'm not gonna finish the water if you keep. <laughs> stop! 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 I want to get to the bottom first. You're destroying my completionist in me. But yeah, I don't know if that is has anything to do with just the re the couple restaurants I've been to where I live or if that's a Japanese restaurant thing. I don't know. I don't know. Especially at ramen places. So if you know, tell me. But that's what it feels like. It really, they do it so quick. I'm like, wow. Wow. Keeping me hydrated. I understand from Twilight Sparkle's letters that you enjoy tending to the needs of woodland creatures. Yes, I love That's great, because I animals. eat woodland creatures. As do I. <coughs> I care deeply about all creatures, great and small. <coughs> Nothing means more to me than the well-being of all my subjects. <coughs> what? <coughs> this is what happened to the dodo birds? Celestia got her hands on it? Wow, wow, wow. This is this is something I didn't expect. I got I had to take a I had to take a walk after that. Well, I mean, if if you just because you're the princess or queen, I should really should say queen, she's not a princess. I don't know, it's just something about my little ponies. I feel like it should be a princess. Because I don't know why uh girls always in inspire to be a princess but never a queen. Maybe because a queen feels old and a princess feels young. But just because she's the queen does not mean that she's good with animals. And apparently, no, she's really shit. Or it's old. I really hope it's the shit one. Because that's funny. Do say hello to our gracious hosts. <laughs> she is quite a kid, isn't she? <laughs> She I sure is, bud! never seen anything like Oh! This. That's what I look like every time I wake up in the morning. <laughs> Did I just do like a Facebook post? Really? This is me when I wake yeah. up in the morning! Uh, you left your dodo. Yeah. Now I can eat something. I'm stuck. Really? That's why? Oh, that's just cold. <laughs> Nobody move! We just can't ignore the fact that someone just somersaulted and kicked someone in the face, and that somebody is a freaking Pinkie Pie ninja? Shows determined to make me love Pinkie Pie. Don't you worry, Philomena. I'm nursing you back to health as a favor to the princess, who is obviously just far too busy to care for you properly. <laughs> no, I just got mage. And you're infected! Sure <laughs> Remember I once said oh, back in the day, this, this character is represents me, way. or is my spirit animal? Yeah. I think it's official now. This is my spirit animal. Because of how hot he is! Wow! 
Turns out he's just that one kid from that one anime. This one. Wasn't that a great joke? Togami, I think his name was. The joke, it's, it's from Boku no Hero. He's, he's part fire, part ice. Is this why I can't get laid? What you need is some medicine. Scat! <laughs> What's shocking to me is how could the princess not have <laughs> straight from Dr. Mario? Dr. Fluttershy expected that. <laughs> it's gonna be all around the pill, isn't it? You think it's a joke, but I've had animals and it does happen. Is, is that soup or is that watermelon? There's nothing like homemade soup to cure what ails you. It also kind of looks like a bowling ball. Did you, did you jellify a bowling ball? You're not get better if you don't cooperate. I do love bowling. It's good and good for you. Oh, what a little scamp. He just wants to die. He just wants to die. But he let me help him and got better in no time. Didn't you, boy? It doesn't look a thing like a hummingbird, yet it is adorable. I know, because I have a hummingbird feeder. I see him a lot. Uh, look, uh, I think he likes you. Oh, by the way, you see how cute that sounds? Don't sing the themes. No hummingbird make... I'm... We're getting the MLP buses up in here. You want to know You want to know a thing or two about freaking hummingbirds? Oh, they're sure cute, aren't they? Vicious animals. Vicious. Destructive monsters. Well, maybe that's going a little too far, but um, you see, you see how cute it sounds. <laughs> it's not cute. It's not cute. I mean, it's cute to watch them drink, and if you see them sit, it's the most adorable thing ever. This tiny little bird. Oh, uh, you just get a hummingbird feeder, and they they show up, but then bees show up because it's honey, and thus they war. And war never changes. But anyways, what I was going to say is, uh, if you've ever been near a hummingbird and ever had the experience of a hummingbird flying by your head, it sounds like a jet's about to run you over. <laughs> it is the most terrifying sound I have ever heard. Boom! <laughs> That's, it was, oh, it literally, I felt, I felt it like just on my ear. It was a terrifying experience. And it's amazing that a bird that size, which it's, by the way, if you didn't know, if you ever see a hummingbird, it's smaller than that. It's about, like, twice as small as that. But they don't play around. They also fight to a death. It's like, it, honest to God, sounds like a Star Wars fight when they fight, because you're, bzz, bzz, bzz. <laughs> they slap their freaking bodies together. And it makes, like, the, the bzz, bzz noises of, like, a Star Wars lightsaber. But anyways, uh, I just bring this up because the rumor on the street is that uh, there's been a lot of uh, attacks on Celestia's kingdom. And uh, it seems that it may be hummingbirds. I don't know what the hummingbird wants, but apparently it had a sign with a yellow square with a couple holes in it. I don't know what this means. But it's making me really uncomfortable. Go ahead. You can do it. Please. <laughs> I was gonna do it, but I didn't know it was gonna be that gross. No, better. <sighs> Wait, if it was, please don't look at me like that. If it was burning up, don't you think it's a oh, bad no. idea? Oh no. That's okay. Oh, what? is it gonna end up just being you. that it's don't molting? Worry. You're gonna get better. How about? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that bird did some good drugs. Surgical tape. Feathers. You silly goose, that's the rat leg. <laughs> oh, oh man. Amina. I thought it would be easy. It looks like me trying to put my love life back together. Everything I know. And look at you. You're worse than ever. <laughs> she doesn't belong to you. I had to 
do something. Without telling any pony? Without asking permission? But <laughs> I know. I don't see what's wrong with a little kidnapping, am I right? Pets, but... That's how we got our brother. What? Put her back before any pony even realizes she's missing. <laughs> <laughs> Been talking shit, boy. Really? You don't stay. <laughs> Sorry, sirs, I have a bad case of coughing buttitis. No, I had that yesterday. But usually we just call it Taco Tuesday. <laughs> no. Dry night air? Why is there a heart outside your window? Well, that's where I buried Grandma. Her last words were, I hope you're all right now! <laughs> oh, Grandma, you're so funny. She might banish you from Equestria or throw you in a dungeon. <gasps> you better say. Or banish you and then throw you in a dungeon in the place that she banishes you to. On the moon! Do the princess would do that? Okay. <laughs> no, she would never what do happened. such a thing. But do you want to Hey, sis, do you want to play some marbles? <laughs> Oh no, oh no, she's gonna. Wow, that was a lot easier than I thought. Done. Okay, what else? I didn't realize the well, burb was half trash compactor. The ones that have thoughts for your own good, Philomena, I promise. Jeez, we, we got rabies or something? No. We all have rabies. <laughs> oh my god. Run! Just don't jump off a cliff. You're the last dodo. Can't have it happen again. Oh, also dance time. Isn't that some nice uncopyrighted music? Philomena, come down from there. You'll hurt yourself. <laughs> well, oh! <laughs> I'll catch you. I mean, it's in water. It's, it's water. I mean, it might not be. Maybe you jump a little farther. <laughs> Boy, I hope that's how I go. As a phoenix, I'm on to you, show. I'm on to you. Yes. Your Majesty, there's been a terrible accident. Your bird croaked so and burst into flames. Oh, stop fooling around, Philomena. You're scaring every pony. Ha <laughs> tri ha! Trick you. Um. Philomena? Uh, Philomena? I don't understand. Why'd you make yourself look like a tramp? Something unusual for a phoenix. Isn't that right, Philomena? Uh, <laughs> this is the same phoenix? thing. Say you're sorry, young lady. So, aren't you gonna banish me? Or throw me in a dungeon? Or banish me, then throw me in a dungeon in the place that you banished me to? You mean like throwing a phoenix into a birdcage? <laughs> the pain of the shit. <laughs> That's sexual assault. Well, that was a pretty fun episode. I, I really like that. I feel like, though, with these episodes, it's one of those things where I don't know really what to say because it was pretty just a, a straightforward episode. Uh, but I felt it was a funny slapstick episode, and the fact that he blew up in the fire <laughs> was gets 200 points in my book because I loved it. So does that mean in that storyline that uh, Philomena was like inches away from death? It's like the cycle of the phoenix. Um, that's kind of sad that we witnessed uh, her last moments for the first, I mean, I guess technically her last moments is her first moments. How does a phoenix work? Like, when a phoenix dies, the next phoenix to come out is the same phoenix. But is that really what happens? Or is it one of those things like, 
Like, it's actually just a different clone. And also, if it's a different body, would it true... Even if it did have the same memories, would it be the same person? Or would it be the same as cloning a human being? It has all the memories, but is it truly you? I don't know, it's a big sparkly bird! <laughs> wow! Oh, I forgot at one point that uh, hummingbird... Busted! You know what I gotta give credit to? I didn't actually see it being a phoenix till the moment it died. It, it was around that moment I was like, oh, I see where you go with this. But otherwise, I didn't. I thought the joke was gonna be that he was molting and that he was just gonna go and then have feathers or something. Um, so I give them credit for that because I didn't see it coming. So it really was a fun episode. Uh, I like how it was the first time we've actually seen Celestia be kind of a, a main character, even though technically she showed up a little less than Pinkie Pie. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't done a Celestia episode. I mean, I feel like it's only a matter of time before we have that episode where she's just like, ah, co come on in and welcome to Creel. Oh, oh, your girl Celestia sure knows how to twerk. No, Ryan, do not look up Celestia twerking. You know you're going to regret See, I'm adding this bit in because I know me. I know me. Wait a minute. What was that pill? <laughs> oh, shoot. I gave it a burst in a flame pill. <laughs> I keep doing that to the squirrels. <laughs> That's a little spicy. But yeah, I don't really know what to say about this episode other than it was a, a fun episode. I really enjoyed it. The slapstick was funny. But really, like, in the grand scheme of things, it really was just, like, like, just wacky fun time. And there really wasn't a moral, uh, unless the moral is stop tricking dumb strangers. <laughs> Philomena. <laughs> oh, here's the moral of the story. Don't keep a majestic bird in a birdcage, Celestia. What the frick? It's one of the most rare majestic birds, and you got it stuck in a cage. And I'm gonna be honest, I understand. Or I am in a cage. A cage of shame. Because I was the one that hired Rough and Stuff. Hired Rough and Stuff to do what? Well, I hired Rough and Stuff to take a jackhammer and dig to the center of Equestria. And everyone knows the center of Equestria is filled with glorious cheese. But see, the problem was we couldn't get there in time. Celestia knew. So there's only one thing I could do. Have Rough and Stuff's band of vicious hummingbirds attack Celestia, but it didn't work. The hummingbirds lost for their tiny creatures with really no fighting capability other than slapping their entire body into something. After that, a huge tax on cheese went around, making it very rare. Nobody could get their hands on cheese, it was just too expensive. Celestia made sure that no one would get the cheese. But I knew. I knew there was one more piece of cheese and I had to get it. I didn't care who I had to get through. I didn't give a damn if it was Equestria's guard or some low down frickin' piece of shit rat. I don't regret what I did to that rat. It was my cheese. Mine. It wasn't that great. I mean, it was cheddar. Not a big fan of cheddar. I just took a couple bites and I threw it in the trash. <laughs> I burped. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> like I said, it was a it was a fun episode. I don't really have anything to say because it was just like a straightforward, just like I'm gonna take care of the bird. The bird does wacky shit, um, and that's about it. But to be honest, I kind of like these episodes the most. I like the just fun cartoon episodes. This was just a cartoon episode. Nothing big, nothing like groundbreaking, just fun cartoon where I, I legitimately just enjoyed watching it. It's fan art time. I hope you're ready. Except for the fact that, once again, I have, I have. I'm 
have not plugged it in. But next time I will. Just you wait, Jimbo. <laughs> I've seen your hate comments, Jimbo. And I'm going to destroy you. Also, I look like one of them, them strippers. Look. <laughs> the picture that I reviewed last time has got an update. And the update is Shipboy's Cutie Mark. Sorry, Cutie Mark Crusaders. I don't want to be a part of your freaking club anyways. They wouldn't let me in. They said, oh, he's so creepy. He looks like a child rapist. You look like a child rapist! Who's calling? I don't care. Freck off, phone. I'm having a midlife crisis here. Kids won't get my van anymore. It's not even a, a weird van. It's just some people are broke and have to use a van. You just take what you steal, all right, folks? You can't just probably probably shouldn't say that joke. Anyways, we got three different kinds of pictures here from your boy Bon Bon. You see, Bon Bon has not made one, but three different cutie marks for your boy. And I want to know which one do you think your boy should have. And what are those three, you might ask? Well, I guess we're just going to have to put our old peepers on and see for ourselves. First one is, it's a good one. It's a, uh, what happens if YouTube takes a branding iron and just sizzles it right on my asshole? I'd say they did a good job. It wasn't that bad. I only cried a little bit. Then the second one is a webcam and a microphone. Which I like a lot because the webcam looks like the portal robot. So I, I really quite like that one. And it's got a little microphone. I, actually, it's that microphone. This microphone don't mean shit. This is just, this is just my, this is my sexy microphone. And finally, the last one that Bon Bon did. Beautiful. It's a beautiful little tidbit here. <gasps> a decapitated Carl head. It's so freaking cute. I love... All three of these. I had to redo it because I thought he was just going to do one and do an update. But the fact that he went out of his way to make three different uh, cutie marks for the picture, I just had to bring it up. So thank you very much, Bon Bon, for this amazing picture. And guys, which one do you think best suits me? Am I a, a Carl? A camera? Or am I YouTube's bitch? Probably that one. Also, guys, I gotta go. Because I've gotta be places. I'm Superman. Or more like super bitch. <laughs> I want to die like that phoenix. <laughs> and I don't want to come back. That's sad.